This video forms part of a series of screencast resources for staff use of Turnitin at Sheffield Hallam. Other guides are available titled What is Turnitin? How do I set up a Turnitin assignment? And How do I access originality reports? This screencast looks at how to interpret and understand the findings of an originality report produced by Turnitin and assumes that you have both set up an assignment and papers have been submitted to that link. Turnitin is sometimes described as a plagiarism detection tool, but this can be misleading. The percentage figure is not a measure of plagiarism. The percentage indicates matches. Matches are listed irrespective of whether or not they have been acknowledged. Turnitin by default includes all matching materials, even if referenced via quotation or citation, or if they've been listed in the bibliography. The objective is not to achieve as low a percentage as possible. It should be used to help identify if and where action should be taken. The percentage and colour coding system are of limited use to staff and students and should not be used as the sole basis for any decision on whether or not plagiarism has occurred. While very high or low values may represent serious issues with submitted work, it's not possible to make a complete assessment of a paper's authenticity and acknowledgement of sources based on these indicators. Although a green icon or marker is generally considered to be acceptable, it should be noted that green is assigned to any originality report with a similarity index rated up to 24%, and even low percentages can include instances of plagiarism or poor referencing. Yellow and red results certainly require more attention, but may simply indicate a student's dependence on too few sources. One question that both staff and students frequently ask is, what kind of percentage figure is good and what kind is bad? Again, the highlighted matches which make up the similarity index percentage are not necessarily indicative of plagiarism, and so there's no simple answer to this question. Text matching software like Turnitin can track and identify matches to sources in its database, but teaching staff know their students best. Being able to interpret the findings of an originality report will allow you to make effective, fair judgments on whether action should be taken or not. The following section outlines some typical examples of Turnitin matches and differing scales of percentage matching. In this example, the student's paper has registered a similarity index percentage match of 94%. This sort of figure is quite possibly indicative of some serious issues and is therefore worth investigating. A total of 10 sources are listed in the match overview, each with what can be termed as a high individual percentage match. If I click on the first match, the submitted text which partially, or in this case completely matches the original source, is highlighted in the document pane. As I cycle through these matches, you'll see that each follows this pattern, whether or not they're from an internet source or a student paper and there is no referencing whatsoever. At the end of the document, there's an extremely limited bibliography that does not list the other sources matched by Turnitin. This submission therefore represents a very clear case of plagiarism. The second example features a student paper which has registered the very low similarity index percentage of 2%. Again, this type of figure could be highlighting some serious issues, but they may not relate to plagiarism. In this case, only five sources have been matched within the document, and they were all very small at 1% or under. Scrolling through these matches, although unreferenced, you'll see that for the most part they're only partial matches to other student papers, and could therefore be coincidental. The size of the matches don't really give us enough information to make an effective judgement on the paper's academic integrity. In this case, the student has achieved a very low percentage score, but on the basis of having used very few academic sources to support his or her writing. Plagiarism may not have taken place, but the standard of the submission is unlikely to be high either. The third example features a student paper with a similarity index percentage of 39%, and this figure may serve to illustrate why reliance on the percentage can prove problematic. This paper is far removed from the previous two examples, listing a total of 43 separate matches. However, each of these is at a far lower individual percentage than the first example. 
Cycling through these matches will enable us to see where matches have been highlighted and whether or not the similarity index percentage can be a true reflection of the document's authenticity. Here a direct quote has been made. Text has been copied word for word but cited correctly in line with the standards identified by the Shoe Harvard Guide to Referencing. If this text hadn't been placed within quotation marks and acknowledged its source both in the text and in the bibliography, this would be an example of plagiarism. The text highlighted corresponds very closely but not entirely to a source in the Turnitin database. However, very little attempt has been made to rewrite this passage and no citation has been made which acknowledges the work as having been written by someone else. This is therefore an example of plagiarism. One of the strongest matches on this paper is to another assignment submitted to Sheffield Hallam University. This doesn't immediately represent collusion but should be investigated. These types of matches can be quite common, particularly in aligned subject areas with similar types of assessment. In this case, the match registered is the assignment title or its leading question. Many other students may have submitted work containing this question and thus this match is signposted. This type of match also frequently occurs within bibliographies or reference lists primarily because some texts or websites are more commonly cited by students than others. If you see a match with another student paper at this institution or any other and want to investigate it, click the highlighted text in the document pane. In most cases you'll need to request to view the paper by sending an email to the author's tutor at the relevant institution. Click the submitted to text link and complete the form with your email address. Part of the similarity index percentage may be made up with false or small coincidental matches. These are ordinarily matches made up of just a few words which register at 1% or under, and no action is required in this situation. A range of further relevant information and guidance is accessible via the BB Support tab on ShoeSpace. Your faculty e-learning team can also assist you with each aspect of Turnitin use, from setup to report interpretation. Library resources on academic integrity can be found by searching shoe space. The Shoe Harvard Guide to Referencing can be found via the Library Gateway. In addition to other video guides and resources for staff, similar resources have also been generated for students.